Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to show you how to do, most people think of them as sticky keys, but they're actually filter keys, where if you have a child who has difficulties holding uh, or just pressing one key and you get this and what you really want is just one letter. So how do we go about helping a child be able to learn how to do keyboarding and typing out words if they have difficulties with hand control? So you're going to hit your start key and you're going to type in filter. So I'm just going to hit my start window key and I'm going to type in filter. And you're going to see or and or hear, if you're doing this with talking software, ignore brief or repeated keystrokes. And you're just going to hit enter and you're going to open that. Uh, if you're using keystrokes, you're just going to tab over to, and you're going to hear, filter keys, ignore or slow down brief or repeated keystrokes, and adjust keyboard repeat rates. The default is off, so you're going to want to hit enter or click on that and turn that on. So here you have your filter keys, and your first option is ignore or slow down brief or repeated keystrokes and adjust keyboard repeat rates. Yeah, that's our biggest issue right there with uh, children who are multiply impaired and ha or have difficulties with their hand control. The next one is turn on filter keys when your right shift is pressed for eight seconds. Uh, it can, you can do hold it for eight seconds or you can actually tap it uh, eight times. You'll hear it because we're gonna also have beep when keys are pressed or accepted. That's really great audio feedback. So here are your next option. Display the filter keys icon on the taskbar. If you select that, that is down in your taskbar. You see it right there. It looks like a, a little clock and it's uh, filter keys. So that is displayed on your taskbar. Um, that's you know just a visual reminder. I don't often use it, but that's an option. Uh, for my particular student, enable slow keys. Uh, we're gonna put that on and in, you can actually have, you tab and you have options well, what do you want to do with this? It actually gives you 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and so on. So depending on your child, you're just going to want to play with that. We're going to do one second there. Uh, you may also have a child with enable repeat keys option, uh, and you can turn that on also. Only try one option at a time so you can really fine tune this to your child. So we're going to select this. Now I'm already going to tell you it is very, you cannot alt tab, alt tabbing will not work, so you need to either use your hot keys or click with a mouse. Like I would like to go to Word and so I would like to alt tab, well I can't do that, or I have to just sit on the keys. What's well, faster to go to Word for me, you can use other talking software options to jump around very quickly, uh, but I'm going to just go ahead and click on Word and go back and I'm going to um, show you how to do this so your filter keys are already on so if I and you can hear the clicks so I'm just gonna hold down my enter and you saw how long it took to go down there now I'm going to hold down the D so if you're looking at a kid well look at that I had pressed it down it took uh, a whole you know 0.5 seconds to do it so let me give you an idea of that right now I'm pressing it down and it finally clicks and I just let up and it's still only 1D. So that really helps with the child who has repeat issues. Once again, you need to play around with these options to see what fits your child the best, uh, but these are just really nice options. Uh, just remember when you hold down your shift key again, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, one, two, three, and there it is, it immediately opens. You can let go and then you can actually use your hotkeys to go back and forth. So those are just some really nice options to help multiply impaired children. Try it out.